Hello my dear students welcome to all computer classes students today we are going to start chapter 3 of class 6 right so this is part 1 of chapter 3 right so the chapter name is word processor tabular presentation means we will be presenting our data in tables so we will be learning creating tables and entering data in today's class right so we will be using insert app that's how this logo is here so let's start the chapter firstly we will understand what is table so table is an organized arrangement of data which consists of number of rows and columns so table is made up of rows and columns right so the intersection of these rows and columns makes a cell right your table is consist of cells and in these cells you put your data in organized manner for example your date sheet your mark sheet uh, your the tables in your report card tables in your time table right and um, so on right so you have seen tables being used at many uh, places right so let's move ahead and creating table is our first topic so word provide us various ways to create table right you can see when we will click when we will open ms word and we get to see this insert tab when we click it we will get to see all the ways by which we can create the table right the first is using grid then using insert dialog box drawing table excel spreadsheet and quick table so we will be using all the five ways to have tables on our screen right so let's move ahead so the first one is using the grid using the grid means when you will click when you will open your ms word or excel sheet you will get to see these tabs you will click on the insert tab and you will get to see this table the moment you will click on this arrow the small arrow which is indicated here you will get to see all the ways by which we can create tables right so the first you will see is grid so as many tables as many rows and columns you want you just move move your mouse pointer and you will get that many cells on your rows and columns on your screen right so this is your using grid method then next method is using the insert table option right it is almost similar so when we will click on the second option insert table a small dialog box will appear in front of us in which we will enter how many rows and how many columns we want just that and click on okay you will get to see your table on your screen right so let's see practically how we can do it so i'll open ms word first so this is your ms word and you can see all the tabs here the first one is file homes and third is insert so we will click here now you see the table option is here right so we will click on this and you will get to see this grid method right so as many cells or as many rows and columns i want i will click that way and that many rows and columns will appear on the screen easy you find it easy i hope you find it easy right so this is our grid method now second is again click on insert tab click on tables and click on insert table option right so by default it is giving 5 and 2 means number of columns will be 5 so 5 vertically column and it will have two rows now you tell me how many columns we should have so let's have four column and four rows right so i'll click okay and you see we have four rows and four columns right so clicking on insert click on tables and first method and second method right so let's move back next is draw table option right so draw table option is a third option we have for having table on the sheet right so draw table is telling that we will draw the table right the moment we will click on this option what will happen our mouse pointer will change into a pen sign and we can draw the table right so let's see how we can draw it i'll click here so wherever my mouse pointer will be 
at that point we will have a table right for example my pointer was here if i will not pay attention where my mouse pointer is and i just click here and choose any way to draw the table or have the table so table will be created inside the table so some students do this mistake when they perform practical so we have to pay attention whenever we want to draw a table or have next table or new table just bring your mouse pointer at that point right now we will click again on the insert tab and go in the tables and then draw table option so now you can see the mouse pointer is changed into a pen sign now we will draw it right now i i will click and drag now i have got the outer box now we will draw the lines so this happens when we draw the table with the pen right this is the way we can draw table now you see you can make the columns wider or smaller the way you want for example i want this bigger column now i want a first row to be bigger then second row then third row and fourth row and my table is made right so easy so you can draw the way you want for example i want to split this cell so i will make a line here right or i want to make a diagonal intersection so i will i can do that right so this is the way you can do anything the way you do with your pen right so let's move back excel spreadsheet is the next option so excel spreadsheet will be the fourth way to have the table on the screen so we can have the excel sheet in our word right and we will go back and see now the topic was excel spreadsheet now click on the tables and go to excel spreadsheet and have it right so now you see what happens in the background i am having a table right so it will show a simple table but here the excel spreadsheet will open and i will enter my data for example i will enter serial serial number then right now let me mention grades right so right so i have done this i'll cross it now i will have the content now it is a it is a excel sheet right the the moment i'll double click i can get excel sheet i can make all the calculation and make my table as if it is a normal table right so this is the way you can have excel sheets on your screen right i hope you are clear with this now let's move ahead and learn the next topic next is quick table right so last option is quick table so the some of the um, default or you can say pre installed tables are here we can have it on our screen and we can modify them so quick tables are quick and easy way to insert pre designed table in your document these tables are most commonly used table layouts saved in a in a quick tables gallery right so you can modify it the way you want it so let's see how we can use it so insert tab tables and click on quick tables right now you see it has a small arrow ahead so what happens and quick table is having arrow so it is showing more options so what kind of table you want on your screen right so that kind of pre designed table you can have so i'll click here and i got this now some basic uh, uh, structure have been given right so if you want to change anything in this table you can do so right 
so you can modify and use it for yourself for example i don't want it to be a college i want it to be a school so i will write i'll backspace and write schools right new students okay graduating students so uh, let's say number of students so i'll modify it number of students right so you can modify it right for example you don't want blue color so you can click here and you will get orange color so this is the way you can have all the tables all the type of tables so the what you need to remember you need to remember in the tab and click on table here you will get all the option to have tables right so students i hope you are clear with this topic and i will see you in the next class with more uh, related topic to the tables right like formatting table entering data editing table modifying the existing tables so all these things we will learn in the upcoming classes so stay tuned till then keep keep practicing keep learning and be very focused okay so bye bye take care and god bless you all